Hello everyone, George Packard, Family Lawn and Landscape. Thanks for tuning in. Today, we're gonna to talk about if you're getting sick and tired of being broke, not being able to make ends meet in the lawn care industry or a similar industry, this video is for you. I'm gonna tell you how to get around that. Hi everyone, George Packard, Family Lawn and Landscape. Again, thanks for tuning in. Today, I wanna to talk to you guys a little bit about being in debt, about all the problems that come with that, all the, the, uh, the issues that arise when there's not enough money to pay your bills. I wanna tell you guys firsthand, I came from nothing. My parents came from nothing, I came from nothing, and I know a thing or two about this, okay? So, that being said, I'm gonna tell you guys some of the things that I have done in my life to change things to make me a profitable company instead of constantly worrying, robbing from Peter to pay Paul all the time, okay? There's a lot of things you guys can do. First and foremost, you've gotta get it in your mind. You have to change what you're doing. Take a minute and think about that. Here's how you have to look at it. I've done this myself. For a while, I was doing door knocking, uh, handing out business cards, door hangers, and I wasn't growing as fast as I wanted to grow. I wasn't becoming a, a profitable company fast enough. So, I mean, there was no scaling there. So what I decided to do was think out of the box. And this isn't just me. My wife and I sat down, we talked about it a lot, and we're just like, you know what? Whatever we have done, and as hard as we have tried to make this business work, we have failed. So, take a moment again. Realize that. If you're in that situation where you have not made a comfortable living for yourself, or you're struggling to live from day to day, how do you fix the mower? How do you fix the truck? How do, you know, how do I buy a new weed whacker? You know, God, I, there's just no money for these things you have to first realize that what you are doing right now is not working. I could say a little differently, not working. I don't know that'd make any difference, but it's not working. So now you gotta stop. You gotta say, okay, did we not have the right message on the door hangers? Um, are we not in the right neighborhoods? Is my pricing not right? There's a lot of things that could be causing this, and I can't give you the magic bullet to tell you that's what it is, but I can tell you it's probably a combination of all of those things. So you have to take one at a time and say, how can I make it better? Here's how you do it. Look at door hangers. Watch videos on door hangers. I've got a video on door hangers. There's other people that have them. Uh, Lawn Care Millionaire, good guy to watch on that stuff. Look at him and his talk about door hangers. He does a great job. There's things you have to put on them. I, I'm not gonna go into detail here because I don't want the video to stretch out for a mile, but take that, study it, and then look at what you did and say, holy crap, I mangled that. No wonder we're not getting results, okay? Now, you've just fixed the door hanger problem. Now, let's look at the pricing. Where am I at with pricing? So you come in here, maybe you're way too high, maybe you're not getting the work. Maybe you're too low and you're not getting the work, but odds are if you're too low, you have a ton of work and you're not making any money, okay? There your answer is simple, raise your prices. Raise your prices. I don't wanna hear, oh, I can't do that. You know, I'm at 100 bucks a month, you know, and everybody else is out there at 150 bucks a month. I don't wanna hear that. I don't hear anybody about that. Or, you know, everybody's out there at 75 bucks a month or something like that. You've got to raise your prices to the point where you're making money or you have to become efficient enough to make the money under your current pricing structure, okay? If you don't wanna change your prices, you better find a way to be more efficient. And that could be working with your guys to get them to work harder, faster, things like that. That's gonna become stressful for you. That's, that's gonna be a challenge. Tell you that straight up. We've become as efficient as we possibly can. So I took that right out of the equation. We are as efficient as any lawn care company in the world. 
There's nothing going to change my mind about that. Then I turn around and say, okay, now what can we do? Let's raise our prices. Let's raise them. We're not meeting the profit margins. Let's raise them. Very worried about it. Wife and I talked about it. Worried about losing customers. Well, we did lose some customers when we, rose the, when we raised the prices. But it wasn't enough to justify. It wasn't enough not to justify, but it wasn't enough to worry about because it didn't affect our bottom line. We actually make more money now than we did before we raised the prices because I'd rather have, here's a good example, I'd rather have 10 customers and make money on every single one, which is what having your business is all about, rather than have 100 customers and make a very little bit of money and barely get by. So you're busting your ass, you're killing yourself, you're running the crap out of your equipment, you're running that stuff in the ground, your mowers, your truck, everything, and you're not making any money. Raise your prices. There are people out there that will pay for your services. Believe this. If there's one thing I've learned in this industry, it's that there are people out there that will pay you more money for good service. The biggest problem that I have found, and I've got a business in Wisconsin and I have another business in Florida, people want quality work. Yes, you have cheap people that don't make enough money to afford your service or whatever, and so be it, that's part of it, okay? That's part of the whole spectrum of things. On the other hand, there's people out there that do make good money and they can't afford your service. What they want is quality work. They want exceptional work and they're willing to pay for it. So don't forget that. They're out there. Go get them. That is, you have to do that. You absolutely have to do that. So streamline your business. Get as efficient as you possibly can with, you, with your vehicles, with your manpower. Attack your pricing. Make sure you're making the money you need to make. Don't go out there, bust your ass, end up with skin cancer, end up with a bad back, end up with bad knees, all these things, lose your hearing, all this kind of stuff, and you barely got by. You barely provided a living because there's a lot better life out there for you if you just go after it. Listen to the things I'm telling you. I'm telling you the truth. You're not going to hear that from everybody, but I'm telling you the truth because I want you to grow your business and I want you to be happy. Okay? All right. Educate yourself as much as you can on everything that has to do with the lawn care field. When you talk about being efficient, maybe you want to piggyback with someone on their advertising. Maybe you want to work with pool guys, let's say, for example, down south. Uh, every, you know, a lot of people have pools. So you get in with pool guys that you know, do the work on the pools, give them your cards, and it's kind of a re referral system where you go back and forth. So when you run across someone who has a pool, automatically take their card, hand it out, and say, hey, I know these guys are really good guys. And all of a sudden, they'll get calls. Well, as they get calls for work, they're going to remember you're the guy that gave them that card. So the next thing you know, you're going to be getting work as well. They're, they, pool guys run into lawn care guys all the time. So piggyback with guys like that, with guys that build houses. Um, they're always around people. They're a little slower. They're not my main go-to guy because they build a house and it takes them a month to build it or three months to build it. I'd rather go to a pool guy that visits 100 or 200 or 300 homes, takes care of their stuff, you know. So, okay, that being said, um, one of the other things is you got to start somewhere, you guys. And again, this goes back to learning. What I've done so far up to this point has not worked. Learn it, realize it. I have to make changes. I'm going to think out of the box. If this means I have to spend $1,000 to build a website, if that advice came from someone that has been there and has done it and is telling you that that's the way to go, you get a ton of business off the internet, which I've said a million times over is our best resource by far for new customers um, and work in general. If, if you've never done it, you're scared to do it, I'm telling you, think out of the box, do it, because what you've done so far did not work. I can't tell you that enough times. You've got to get it through your head. That's the way it is, okay? All right, enough on that. Um, I watch people, and this is one of the things that I watch, and it's, it's weird because I've always, I've always been the kind of guy that packs a lunch when I go to work. 
And it may be nickel and dime type stuff, but I, I want you guys to learn from experience, from mine. I pack my lunch every day. I, I take the, the, the guys would literally take their bottles of this big, you know, like Gatorade, stuff like that. They'd throw them in the garbage. You know what I would do? I'd take them, put them in my dishwasher, clean them good. I would fill them up. I would go buy big jugs of like lemonade powder. And I would pour that in there and I would freeze them. And every day I had my, my frozen stuff in the fridge. It went in my lunchbox. I had ice cold, you know, water all day or ice cold lemonade or, you know, what chocolate milk, whatever I wanted. Okay. And it cost me pennies on the dollar. And I would watch my employees, and I still do to this day, watch them go into a gas station, buy $10 worth of scratch tickets, go buy six or eight Gatorades. Uh, before you know it, they spent $20, $30 in that store on junk food. And think about it. If they're working five, six days a week, look at the money they're spending. I could take that $100. Let's just say it was $100 that they blew in a week. I could take that $100, put it into advertising. For that $100, I could find one, maybe two customers that are worth $1,000 a piece to me, Okay. $1,000 a piece on average. Okay. I took my money. Look at the money I'm making. The guy that took his money and squandered that money away, hoping that one of them scratch tickets would make him a million dollars. End of the day, I've got two businesses. I've got a great life. I've got a great family. I'm able to help everyone in the family. And... I did it just by something as simple as that. As simple as that, just packing my lunch every day. I do it to this day. I don't have to do that, but that's a good point. You guys should remember this, okay? Think about that. Just think about that for a second. Um, <clears throat> the other thing I was gonna tell you, excuse me, I do know that uh, with money troubles comes all kinds of troubles, especially if you're married. Boy, I'll tell you what. You things are nice and rosy when you're making money and everything is good and your wife loves you or your girlfriend loves you and everything's going great because you have money to spend on stuff. On the other hand, wait till things go south. Holy crap. When they're short on money and they're having trouble paying the bills and they come to you, they are not coming to you with mm, love you, honey. Oh, hell no. They're coming to you with their claws out going because they just want a piece of that ass because they, damn it, they put their faith in you and you were supposed to provide for them and you son of a bitch, God. Could go on and on about this. This is how they get. They get crazy as shit. You and I can sit back here. Good term, bad shit, crazy. There you go. But you and I can sit back here saying, hopefully it'll get better next week. I'm trying as hard as I can. They don't get that. They don't get that when the money problems happen. It's an issue for them. So... Whatever, we'll deal with that, okay? Listen to the things I'm telling you. You're going to help that situation out. And what does that mean in the end? Mama's happy, you're happy. Think about that for a minute. Okay, well, maybe take a little longer because it's very important. Okay, you do have to work for it. You have to make sacrifices. And I'm going to give you a good example of this. A lot of my peers, a lot of my buddies, I watch them buy new cars, new trucks, everything new, beautiful house, house on a lake, all these things that they have, just gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. Some of these guys never work for it. All of a sudden they lose their job or their business goes down, you know, something happens, they lose everything. How many people do you know that have lost their house or lost their business? You know, everybody knows somebody, you know, it happens all the time. Don't overextend yourself. Use your brain. Think about things. You've got to work for it. Get out there and work for that money. Do the things that I talk about in my videos. I, you know, I, I don't know how many videos I have out there, but I talk about this all the time about have to, how you have to work for it, okay? I know the work ethic is horrible out there right now, but if you guys want to make things better in your life, get out there, bust your ass, and they'll get better. They'll get better, okay? All right. What else? Um... The other thing is, guys, if you're thinking about starting a lawn care business, get going. Don't waste your time worrying about it. Get going on it. Um, there's a lot of helpful information out there. 
to help you start your lawn care business. If you have questions, leave them below. I'd be happy to help you guys out with anything that you have in mind. You know, any questions you have, just leave your comments below. I try to get back to everybody, okay? Um, bottom line is, guys, think out of the box. I'm going to wrap it up with this. Think out of the box. If what you've done so far hasn't worked, change what you're doing. The door hangers are still a good idea. Business cards, always a good idea. Internet, fantastic idea. You've got to know how to set it up right. Internet, for example, you could have a great business. If no one knows about you and no one knows how hard you work, I don't know you. I, how am I going to know you? Because I can't find you. Get on the internet, get your site made, and do the studying on that. Go talk to people who have done it, okay? Talk to, to people who have good sites and who are successful, Ask your questions about that. Ask me questions. I'm happy to help you out, especially with the internet because I've been involved with it so much that I know that that can make or break a person. So give me a call. Send me, leave your comment down below. I'll talk to you about it. That thing is a, is a customer generating machine for you guys. It's the number one way we get clients today. It'll work the same for you. But again, it has to be a good salesman. Your internet is a good salesperson. That's all it is. They work 24 seven for you. But if your site looks like crap, you did it yourself because you didn't want to spend a thousand dollars on it. So you went over here, you know, to Joe Blow's site and oh, you can do them for free and do them yourself. And you think you did this awesome job. I get this call every day from guys all the time. Well, look at my site, check out my site, you know, look, tell me what you think about it. And the sad truth is I have to go back to them and say, your site sucks. It's terrible. It's awful because you don't know what you're doing. You need to hire professionals, people that know what they're doing. I've offered this before. I'll offer it again. My website guy designs these things to be productive, to make you money. If you're not making money, he's not making money. He does it for like a thousand bucks a pop, does your initial SEO work, does a great job. Um, keep that in mind. If you guys want to get hooked up with him, let me know. I'll hook you up. Anyway, I've rambled on way too long now. Probably going to have to turn this into two videos, which I didn't want to happen. But this has been George Packard with Family Lawn and Landscape. I hope you guys learned something from this. I want you to be better. I want you to have a good life. I want you guys to make good money. You can do it. You have to work hard for it. You have to listen to the things that I've said, and you have to apply them. Don't just pass it off. Don't look at that and say, oh, geez, I think I'm going to do that. And then six months later, you still haven't done it. What are you waiting for? You wait until the bank comes and takes your house? Are you waiting until they come and take your car? Are you waiting until your wife leaves you? What are you waiting for? Get going. If you want to make something out of yourself, get going. George Packard, leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe. See you guys.